Welcome, my brother and my sister. This is another word from the Father. This is Promised Land Proclamations with Daughter of Judith. This word is titled, Stoffel the Honey Badger. And he shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, today you are on the verge of battle with your enemies. Do not let your heart faint, do not be afraid, and do not tremble or be terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. The word continues. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. You will not need to fight in this battle. Stand firm. Hold your position and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid and do not be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them and the Lord will be with you. Vengeance is mine in recompense for the time when their foot shall slip for the day of their calamity is at hand and their doom comes swiftly. I will take revenge. I will pay them back. In due time, their feet will slip. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or dismayed before the king of Assyria and all the horde that is with him. For there are more with us than with him. And Moses said to the people, fear not, stand firm. And see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people. And God himself will be with them as their God, Yahweh. Welcome, my brother and sister. Um, this is another fun word from the Father. And it's titled, Stoffel the honey badger and in the description box there will be a link to the short little clip that the father used to birth this word and so the first thing i want to say is that as sons and daughters of the living god remember the bible says seek and you shall find right and so we know the father uses many ways to speak to us and as he had given me the this series titled you know desperados dead ends and the diaspora he began to title the videos and one of the ways that he titled the videos was he showed me this really short clip. It's a little link to a short video. And it, it talks about this. This is true story about this Stoffel, the honey badger, who every time the zookeepers put him into a little cage, he, he would he would scrap and fight to get out. And so I'm going to leave the link and you, you really need to watch it. It's short. It's about a minute long. But it's, he continues to use rocks. Um, to climb up out of his cage. And every time he gets out of the cage, he goes and attacks this lion that is also in the same zoo. I mean, he just attacks it violently, right? Every single time. So the zookeeper starts to, you know, he, he gets an idea. He, he says, I'm going to build a bigger cage. I'm going to, I'm going to lock him up, you know, a little better. Every time this little honey badger gets out and goes and attacks this lion, right? And so they say, okay, well, we're going to give the honey badger, you know, a, a female and maybe <coughs> excuse me, that'll distract him and he'll quit getting out and attacking this lion. Well, he, he uses, he stands on the female honey badger's head to get out of the cage and go attack the lion. He uses rocks. He uses mud balls to get out of the cage. And every time he goes and attacks this lion, right? And so finally they just build this, you know, the zookeeper's like, I'm just going to build this really good cage for him, right? So the honey badger breaks out and goes and gets into the bedroom of the zookeeper, which terrorizes the zookeeper. And it's a little one long minute video, but I encourage you to go and watch it. And I encourage you to understand and receive and believe that God, as you know, speaks in so many ways. And if you've been led here, you already know you're following the voice of God. And so it's just so cute because God used this video to speak to his people. And he is saying to us, like, you know, like Stoffel and Stoffel, the actual meaning of the name Stoffel is bearing Christ. And so God is asking for us to remember, you know, to be wise and be sober and vigilant. Because remember, our enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for somebody to devour. And of course, the lion is being attacked in this, this little clip video that God spoke through. 
um, relentlessly, right, by this small creature, this honey badger. I mean, and he just is relentlessly being attacked, right? And so uh, God led me to understand that the honey badger is famous for its strength, ferocity, and it's, it's just ferocious in its, its toughness. And it is very well known to savagely and fearlessly attack almost any other species when escape is impossible. So when it's been encaged, it will attack any species ferociously. Um, it's reportedly even repelling much larger predators such as lions and hyena. Bee stings, porcupine quills, and animal bites rarely penetrate the skin of a honey badger. So these are just very strong, ferocious, and tough creatures, right? And this particular honey badger was named Stoffel. And, and he kept attacking this lion. Remember, the father says that this lion, you know, the lion roars around seeking whom he can devour, devour and he's our enemy, right? And God says he fights for us. And so, of course, this whole series has been talking about the diaspora, right? As God leads his people into the promised land. And one of the first things that get attacked, that the enemy tries to attack for us and that we need to be alert and sober-minded is the devil is prowling around like a lion seeking for somebody to devour. He wants us to lose faith, right? He wants us to lose faith in the promises of God, right? But if you'll notice in the little video clip, the, the devil wants to cage you into unbelief you know, or to be despair or to be depressed or whatever it is. And so if you'll notice little Stoffel, the honey badger, he kept fighting the lion and then the zookeeper breaking every chain that tried to cage him and even attacking the, the person that, you know, he went to the guy's bedroom, you know, that's supposed to, the bedroom represents your, 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 you know, your safe place, you know, where you can't be attacked, right? It's where you go to lay down and go to sleep. Here, this honey badger shows up and he, he this is the guy that keeps trying to cage him, building a, hard, a more difficult cage to escape from infuriating this honey badger, right? This intelligent creature. It even goes into the man's bedroom at night, terrorizing him, right? That scared him. And so he, this, this animal, uh, this particular animal God used to speak to this word, you know, this animal's famous for its strength and ferocity and toughness, especially when any, when any other, when escape is impossible. So it, they will savagely and fearlessly attack almost any other species when they still, when they are caged in, locked in, or blocked, okay, when escape is impossible, when they get put in a corner, right? They have been reported to repel even much larger predators like lions and hyenas. So God is speaking into this word and he is saying to his children, he wants us to be like that as we go down to tear down the kingdoms of this earth, the lies of this earth, the lies of the enemy that say, no, that's not the promise, or um, no, you can't do that. Who do you think you are? You know, who do you think you are to speak these things? Well, we're just a nobody trying to tell everybody about Jesus Christ, right? And we are sent forth to speak the words of God. And so we need to ferociously fight that lion, the enemy, right? Because he is trying to cage God's people to keep them from springing forth and speaking what God has said, right? And so God has told us, you know, you don't have to fight. You just maintain your peace, right? That's exactly what he says. He says, he'll take vengeance, right? You don't need to fight this battle. Stand firm and hold your position and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf, O Judah and Jerusalem. That's exactly what he's saying to his people. So he's saying, you don't even have to fight. You know, you don't even have to fight. Just stand firm. So the area where he's relating the honey badger, Stoffel, the honey badger, those who bear Christ, right? The area where he's relating that is to fight against the enemy who is trying to cage your mind and your thoughts and the things of God, who's trying to argue against it. So this honey badger, you know, he was fighting. Nope, I'm going to go here and attack the lion. You know, not only and I'm not only am I going to escape the cage, I'm going to go attack the lion. And so these these lions in your life are these things that try to make you doubt or wonder or worry, right? So we're supposed to fight the good fight of faith, right? That's what God tells us. We're supposed to fight the good fight of faith. And as God's children rise, because remember when they say there's a casting away, we say there's a rising up. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. What does that mean? The violent, the powerful, they, they, they grab, you know, they pull down strongholds in their own life, in their family lines, the lies of the devil, these wicked curses. So they, they fight with force. They pull down the strongholds of the devil, trying to cage them and make them think something different than what God has already spoken, right? And so not only do we pull it down, but then we go and attack the enemy. How do we do that? By speaking the truth of God, by stepping out in faith. And I just thought this was just such a precious, adorable, funny way that the father had brought this word because he knows in this hour how much his children are being attacked. He knows how, because they are, 
they are bearers of Christ. They bear the good news. They bear the gospel, right? They're sent forth. And so, of course, the enemy of our souls, uh, the person in charge right now, right? This is Satan's playground. He, he has been given authority for a time, and his main goal is to attack God's children. But, but our father has told us, okay, that's fine. Then you fight back. And when he says, you know, stand still, and, and, you know, you don't need to take revenge or pay them back. Their feet are going to slip. What does he mean? These liars, these cheats, these people that are accusing you and the enemy spirits that come to attack your mind and say, you know, oh, well, that's not so. Or maybe, maybe this or maybe that. Remember, it says in the Bible that no one breaks into an empty house, right? And except for that he, he, he bind the strong man first, right? So the enemy of our souls, Satan, Belial, the great dragon, he is trying to bind the people of God and get, and get them to not believe the promises of God and to reach out and pull them down from heaven, right? You got to you got to be forceful. You got to say, "Yes, this is what God spoke. I'm going to continue to speak it over my life and I'm not going to and I'm going to go after the enemy when he says no to it." Right? In the spirit. I'm going to war in the spirit. I'm going to fight in the spirit. I'm going to, you know, this is not suggesting that you uh like this honey badger, you know, violently fight, but it's so cute the way God used this story. For his people, I had no idea about the honey badgers or even this particular honey badger, but I love that he just kept going and attacking that lion and that God has told us, you know, the enemy of our soul prowls around like a lion, like a lion, thank you, Holy Spirit, seeking to whom he may devour. So in this hour, God is saying like this, be like the honey badger, anybody that tries to cage your soul, anything, any thought, any person, any circumstance or circumstance that is trying to cage your soul or chain you. You need to be in the spirit like this honey badger, right? <coughs> Says the honey badger is famous for its strength, ferocity, and toughness. It is known to savagely and fearlessly attack almost any other species when escape is impossible. Reportedly even repelling much larger predators such as lion and hyena. Bee stings, porcupine quills, and animal bites rarely penetrate their skin. And so these honey badgers represent Christ's people, right? We are bearing Christ to the world. And so God has strengthened us. Remember, it's not by our power or, our, or by our might. It is by the spirit of living God, right? And in our weakness, he is made strong. And so he wants us to savagely and fearlessly attack anything that is trying to stop us from bringing forth the word of God. And I can speak to this because this particular video series, I, I think I had to fight about four weeks in the spirit. And I am telling you, it was a battle like no other battle. And I, I have had to fight the devil before, you know, these spiritual attacks, these witchcraft attacks. I've spoken about it before. Um, and it's the enemy of our souls really trying to stop us from coming forth, edifying, encouraging teaching, preaching, whatever part of the body of Christ you are, whatever gifts you have, whatever God has placed in you. And that could be music. It could be, it could be anything, you know, you know, the gifts that God has given you. And so this particular video series was something that God had given to me. And I was, uh, I mean, I honestly, brother and sister, I was ready just to lay down. I was like, I don't know, father, if I can do this. I just don't know if I can do this because I am being so attacked in so many other areas of my life. And, you know, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all the rest will be added unto you. So even though my strength was very low and I was just, you know, because of spiritual attack, there wasn't anything wrong with me physically, but it was almost giving me a headache to have to deal with this and get up in the middle. Of the night. And I, and I didn't see any movement, you know, in my mind, it just seemed like I was getting attacked more, which is true. The more we serve the kingdom of God, the more the enemy comes to try to attack us. Right. But father says that the vengeance is his and recompense, Right. So at some point, the enemy's foot is going to slip. And he says, don't be afraid or dismayed because of the hordes that are with these kings, right? Fear not and stand firm. And so that's what he was saying to me. Fear not, stand firm. And so, of course, I had to get on my knees, cover my head and pray and say, Father God, I renounce the spirit of give up. I renounce my bad attitude. I renounce my complaining. I renounce that, you know, I haven't seen, you know, the wicked one fall. I haven't seen, I haven't seen where... I've gained ground. It seems like they're gaining momentum, which is a thought that sets itself up and exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ Jesus, right? So this is how many, so much that God's children, we find ourselves in sin, unknown sin, right? Sins of commission or omission. And I know it's wrong to agree with these wicked spirits, but when I was in such a down place, I was like, I just, I can't understand. How many videos do I have to bring forth? How many times do I have to speak? 
What what more do you want from me? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit just reminded me. What more do you want from me? That's what I was saying to God. Can you imagine the nerve, the temerity, the audacity? But of course, when God called me for this, he knew that I would complain and whine. And I, I, I usually say it must be because God's given me such a wonderful husband and he's so gentle and sweet. And so I think I take out all my angst and anger on the Holy Spirit, which isn't right. You know, when I, I was getting aggravated because I had been told this great land shift and all these things were happening and, and the, the season of them. And yet here I was, I felt like I was back at the drawing board, but the father was like, no, 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 no. Remember, remember what I told Peter, Simon Peter, Satan desires to sift you, right? Sift you, test you, but do not worry. I have prayed for you. And when you have recovered yourself, go and help your brother and sister. So the father was saying, wait a minute, you know, this is not just about you being recovered. This is about your brother and sister that you've got to bring forth these words. And he, he gave it to me to understand that this is why the enemy was fighting me unbelievably i mean you well you would believe it because you've been fought that's why you've been led here you have been fought again and again and again and again and again and so god is saying to us he wants us to be like stoffel this honey badger that will not allow anyone to cage us they will not stop us from speaking we will come forth and speak the truth of yahweh whatever he has laid on us heart our hearts and if anybody tries to put us in the cage we'll visit them in their bedroom and he means in the spirit these things are spiritual the spiritual man discerns things by the spirit, right? Not the flesh. You're not to go to somebody's house and attack them. But he means get up at midnight and, and 3 a.m. and war in the spirit. War in the spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit. So that God will send his angels to minister to you. And he will attack the, the party that is attacking you. And he will distract them. And we only need to walk by faith. Because remember, he said he's going to take vengeance anyways, right? You will not need to fight in this battle. Stand firm. Hold your position and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf, O Judah and Jerusalem. This is what God says to his people. And so he means, you know, you're not going to have to physically fight. But in the spirit, we always have to war in the spirit, my brother, and my sister. And I know that 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 sometimes can just be mind boggling. Like, well, how come I have to fight all the time? Well, we fight from a position of victory. We don't fight from a position of complaint or defeat. We fight from a position of victory. That we have already won the battle. So we thank God. Thank you, Father God, that I'm being attacked in the spirit. Because that means I'm doing exactly what you wanted me to do. Bless me, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. Strengthen me to continue to fight. Make me like Stoffel, the honey badger. Make me come after the zookeeper trying to engage me and after the lion. After that lion, let, I'm going to attack him. And so we are, we are pulling down strongholds. God's people are, we are pulling down strongholds just by showing up and doing the work. We're trusting that Jesus Christ will make up the lack. And so we are attacking that enemy that prowls around the enemy of our souls like a lion, right? When we come and speak truth in whatever way that looks like. <coughs> so, excuse me, that doesn't mean everyone has to come on YouTube and make a video. But whatever God has laid on our, the hearts of his people, he wants them to do that thing. Whatever it is, whatever they're building, writing, programming, distributing. You know, I have no idea what God has you doing. But you know that there's a great move and shift in the spirit that God is bringing these things forth. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus Christ. And, and remember, we don't have to fight our battles. He says, do not be afraid, do not tremble, or be terrified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, here, okay, this is what he says. Hear, O Israel, today you are on the verge of battle with your enemies. Do not let your heart faint. Do not be afraid, and do not tremble or be terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. And so what he's saying is, is um, maybe you've hit some roadblocks in the things that God has you working on, or maybe you're being attacked in the physical, maybe it's a physical ailment or a spiritual attack or mental or financial, whatever it is, it could be a uh, myriad. It could be all the things. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You could be being attacked financially, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally on all sides. Right. And that's exactly what that zookeeper was doing to you know, the honey badger. He, he, he just kept building the cage better. And stronger and the honey badger was like uh-uh you're not going to imprison me you're not going to stop me and when i get out i'm going to go attack that lion i'm going to go take care of that lion and you keep trying to imprison me i'm going to visit you in your bedroom and attack you you're going to be fearful right and so hallelujah glory to jesus christ this is exactly what's occurring so god wants you to keep fighting in the things of the lord keep doing what he has put on your heart to do do not, and in Jesus' name, I cancel the lie of the enemy that says you can't complete it or you've ran out of time or the season is over, it shifted and you didn't make it. Those are all lies of the enemy. And I break and I cancel every altar by Holy Spirit fire 
by the power and blood of Jesus Christ that he has given me. I cancel that. No, you have not failed. Jesus Christ is the author of and finisher of our faith. And so these things that he has given the body of Christ to do, his true servants, we need to be doing those things. And, and I encourage you, my brother and sister, watch that video because I'm going to leave the link. It'll be a little hyperlink in the description box. And this it's just a funny little video about this honey badger because, I mean, he was ferocious. He was like, you're not going to cage me. You're not going to cage me. I'll, I will come and attack you. And so that's what the bot, that's what God is saying to his children. You tell the enemy, you're not caging me. You don't have me in chains. As a matter of fact, I'm coming to attack you. I'm coming to take you out. And there is not any gate, any fence. There's, there's nothing that's going to stop me from taking you down. That is what the Father is saying in this hour. So I pray in Jesus' mighty name that encourages you and strengthens you. And, you know, watch that video as much as you need to. The Father would also like for me to touch on this. When he brought that video to me, I got such a kick out of it. And um, I knew that he, he was speaking to me that he would, you know, you're going to use this. But I forgot to look up the name of Stoffel. And so just today, as I sat down to do the paperwork to get it ready to prepare the word, Father told me in my heart, go and look up the meaning of the name Stoffel. And so he wants me to speak on this. I encourage you many times, or every time you should do this, look up the meanings of words and names. So if you meet some random person and they have a name, you know, you need to pay attention to all the ways that God speaks, right? Because he speaks in so many ways. And he says, those who seek shall find, mean that you're seeking and watching, right? You're seeking. And so I had asked for the Father for a confirmation about the order of the words and then also... Um, what how, how much time did i have to complete these because it was a it was a rather large video series and they were long videos and i apologize that for that brother and sister but that is just what it had to be to get the message across and the father as he is faithful gave me several confirmations again and again and again and so even the god can speak through anything videos people a name anything at all he can use and that's how he confirms himself that he is the one that is speaking to us and he's saying in this hour you know keep fighting the good fight of faith you know, you fight anything that is trying to enchain you. And exactly who's trying to enchain you is the enemy. He's trying to keep you in chains to keep you from speaking the truth so that the other brothers and sisters won't hear the truth. But the devil is a defeated foe. And you are a bearer of Christ. You are a bear, bearer of Christ. And God, in Jesus' name, is going to strengthen you just like the honey badger. And you're going to be ferocious and tough. And you're going to savagely and fearlessly attack anything that tries to encage you. Anything. You're going to repel anything and fight and attack it in Jesus' mighty name because it's going to be by the power of God. Okay, it's by the power of God. You are a bearer of Christ. This has been Promised Land Proclamations with Daughter of Judah.